Welcome back to my channel. Today is a little bit different. I received some beautiful secondhand Prismacolor pencils and I thought I'd take this as an opportunity to show you what I do when I get new pencils. So how I color chart them to get a feeling of what kind of colors I have and how they work on the paper I have. Maybe you have noticed that depending on which color uh, paper you use, the colors will look different and sometimes it takes the pigment better. So I'm going to test it on this. Crawford and Black sketch pad, so there's 130 gram per square meter uh, cartridge paper. So this is really nice, I love this, it's also very cheap. And I'm also going to use it on this Cass Art watercolor paper smooth, because that's what I like to use for um, final illustrations. I'll do some color testing now and I'll show you how I do this. So I'm sitting at my desk now, sorry if it's a bit more wobbly. So the first thing I would probably do is to sharpen all the pencils have broken tips. I wonder if they maybe fell down or if it's just a Prisma color thing because with my other Prisma colors I've experienced similar things that they just tend to break sometime. But I will sharpen them and then next step I will start to put them on paper. So I don't know how well you can see this but this indigo blue broke several times when I tried to sharpen it. And you can see I think the actual core is broken so this might have fallen down several times so maybe it was a production fault but oof yeah this is unfortunately quite damaged so I'll try a different technique see if that works and I'll let you know how it goes so um no it didn't help I tried to use um the different diameter in the sharpener sometimes when you use the bigger one it it just basically makes the tip shorter which can help with such problems but this I think is a completely fragmented core it just came out just like this again so all about this size I mean of course you can still use it but it's just a bit of a pain I still will probably use it because I really love indigo but yeah this can happen sometimes and I've noticed it happens more for me with Prismacolors basically I start by taking a color usually in order I try to sort them sometimes a little bit by color, but also sometimes by number. This time I wasn't so specific. And with white, sometimes I use a graphite pencil to just kind of help me to see this white. And then I tend to write the name and the number because I feel that really helps later if you work on a project and you make a little, how to say, like a color scheme. If you write down the numbers, it's much easier to know, oh, this was a Prisma color or this was a Durban drawing 24 and exactly which one, because sometimes they start to look the same um, or really similar and then you just, it just takes forever to find them. So that's why I do this. Then I normally, with the white, I didn't really, you can't really see it, but I start with darker swatch and then from dark to light just to see what kind of value range uh, this color has. And yeah. Here I write down whatever is written on the pencil, but I have to say what I just realized and find very interesting, which I think is a little bit of a hmm, production error or a design error, I think, at least in my eyes, because of using the system and because I think it's very helpful. This is, for example, a Prisma color, and the difference between these two for me, um, when it comes to design thinking, is that interestingly, with a Prisma color. The number is very high up. Okay, this is a bit blurry, but now you can see it. And what happens over time is that when you start to, you know, when pencil, you use it and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, you're just maybe halfway through and suddenly you can't see the actual number of the pencil anymore, nor can you see the English name. And at an end, there's just nothing. Whereas with the Prisma color ones, Turn it around so you can actually read it. So it's at the end, which I think is really helpful because even if you don't know the name here, the number is very close to the end. And that's when a pencil almost becomes really hard to use. So you will know the number at least. And if you have a color chart like this, you can always find the right pencil. Whereas with the Prisma color, quite soon you will not be able to see this number anymore and you probably have to make a makeshift yeah, I don't know, put a sticker on or something. I don't know, I never really paid attention to this, but now I noticed it and I realized, maybe if you have 
one pair, you know, if you only have one pack of pencils, then probably it doesn't matter. But I think a lot of professional illustrators probably have a good range of pencils and they will sometimes overlap in color uh, or look really similar. And then it actually becomes really helpful to have numbers. And I guess maybe that shows, for me, this is a very professional range. Whoever designed these pencils, I think, had this in mind as well. Yeah, very interesting. I've almost finished the first page. What I noticed with these pencils, like I might have mentioned in a previous video that I had or have some personal colors, I think about four or five. But what I rediscovered basically is that they are really nice and vibrant. I think that's one of the things about Prismacolor, their vibrancy is just amazing. They're really brilliant, beautiful colors. Yeah, which I really enjoy. <laughs> Some of the colors are just, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I really, really love certain tones of orange, yellow. And yeah, it's just, it's very satisfying to put them down. However, um, I noticed that some of the tips are a bit weak, so this could also indicate another internally broken core, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe it's also because they are very soft and I don't know. There might be actually a way to uh, fix them, I just don't know how. might research that in the future. If you know how to fix a broken Prismacolor core, then let me know. Uh, yeah, so I'll continue now. I think I'm about here. Um, thinking maybe I should have used a bigger piece of paper. I have a bigger version of this um, same paper. But yeah, so let's continue. So I finished this color chart um, on this paper and I think I might leave it here. It's been already quite long, but anyways, I'm really happy with the coverage. It's very nice and creamy texture, which I guess can also um, smear easily, but yeah, it's not too bad actually. Very, very beautiful colors. Very happy. It's so much easier when you have these color charts to find a color or um, create a color scheme. So yeah, look at these amazing colors. So yeah, this is a very, very, very nice selection. If you want to have one more look what kind of uh, colors this is, I'll show you. So this is the Prismacolor Premier Set 48 colored pencils. Smooth, rich color lay down. Yep, I totally agree, but the breakage, mm. anyways, two of them I've noticed are very, like, for me, beyond being usable, but like I said, they might be tutorials online how to fix those broken prisma colors and yeah thank you very much for watching if you like this kind of video let me know and i will create more of those <laughs> and um yeah i could also do similar things for my other color pencils if you want um, if you like illustration then please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it bye